So the story takes place in um, high school for me. So about 13 years ago. It's one of the reasons why I got I got like a really cool nickname in high school. And it still follows me to this day. And um, so it's been established and it's been told that, I, yes, I did grow up in all black school. Majority of black school. And um, I was actually picked on for a while because I wouldn't hook up with a black dude. And it started, this happened sophomore year of school. Uh, I I was I lost everything this year in that particular year because of this event. I uh, I was in the football. I was on the football team. I was in uh, FFA. I was an officer in FFA. Uh, top of the class. Um started to uh, explore my taste in not white women. So I uh, started talking to this chick. Um, You can bleep this out if you want, man. Uh, Her name's <laughs> We'll change. That's her real name, but for the sake of the story, her name is uh, LaBrittany. So La- LaBrittany was a freshman in my school was not that hard. She really loved white guys. And um I was at the moment getting some popularity. Um so she me and her started talking. Her dad was a cop in the small town that I was from. Knew him very well. Wasn't a bad guy. He was a nice, super nice guy. Well, we started talking, me and her. We could never get it figured out on how we we would hook up. So we we ended up hooking up, like hanging out, but nothing happened because like she was like she only hooked up with like one or two guys, whatever. But she did give me head, so that was kind of cool. But we didn't we didn't hook up, and then. One day, uh, before football practice, I was in, um, I had fourth block gym, which if you're a football player, that's, you just go lift weights, get ready for football practice, whatever. So I ended up skipping workouts and I invited her to the locker room. The locker room is called the gator hole because we're gators. This is just what we call the the men's locker room. It was like outside and shit. I invited her to come and hang out with me. Well, we were in the equipment room of the gator hole, and we couldn't, we we were going to hook up, but we couldn't figure out how we were going to do it. Like we, we didn't, we didn't want to do it on the floor. We didn't want to do it on the bench because the benches were too small. So... (laughs) I actually had one of my friends, um, his name for the sake of the story will be uh, Dallas. Um, Dallas was like, well, y'all lay down this mat and I'll be lookout for you. I was just so horny and I was like, that sounds beautiful. Sounds like a perfect situation. So, all right. So we lay down the mat. He was at the end of the room. We did our business. We hooked up. Very basic sex, to say the least. Um, And then we got done. We got our clothes back on. And LaBrittany went back to class. And I had to get ready for football practice. Unbeknownst to me, Dallas recorded the situation. I did not know this. 
So we just went on with the rest of our day. Like nothing was a problem. Come in about two days later. Everybody knew what happened. Small school. Shit moved very quickly. Like I said, also didn't know that this was being recorded. Somebody asked me if I had hooked up with LaBrittany. And I was like, yeah, I did. But at first I was denying it. But then somebody showed me the video and then I was like, well, I can't fucking deny it now. The video spread faster than wildfire. Everybody had it in the school. But Brittany went, she was getting made fun of for hooking up with a white guy. So La Brittany went and told the principal. Thinking that that was going to help her case. It did not. It made it a thousand times worse. So I ended up getting called into the principal's office and he guilt tripped me and then lied to me about if I told him the truth, he, he policed me. Uh, he told me if I told him the truth, he's going to make sure it's a lighter sentence. And this was on game day Friday. I was in my Jersey cause you know, country town, you wear your game day Jersey on game days. Uh, and it was my first start of the season. I didn't get to play that night. Instead, I had to get brought out of the school in handcuffs like I was a criminal for getting laid. I got suspended for three days because they were going to schedule me a hearing. Well... Again, unbeknownst to me, I'm gone three days. Dallas also gets brought in for questions. And then another third party, we're not going to bring his name up, another guy got brought in for questions as well. Well, those two guys, after this event, never messed with each other again. Well, I'll return to, full, I'll return to school. Everything is blown up even worse than when I left. And um, we go to fourth, fourth block, and Dallas has a problem with me. Dallas doesn't like me because he thinks I'm the one who snitched on him when it was LaBrittany who actually did it. Uh, so he ends up sneaking me and punching me in my face while I was, like, getting ready for practice. And, um, yeah, that was really fucked up of him. Because I didn't do shit. So I ended up, like, leaving. And uh, I ended up going to this hearing where both my parents are there, principal and superintendent of the, of the parish is there. So we go over the situation. I end up getting expelled for the rest of the semester um, in school expulsion, uh, expulsion. So, like, I lose everything. I Nobody, like, I couldn't play football ever again. Um, I couldn't do FFA again. Wouldn't let me join no other extracurricular clubs beside baseball. And, um... I had to sit in a room for five months with this chick that I had sex with one time. <laughs> and my baseball coach. That was the two people I sat in the room with every day instead of being with the rest of the school. So I served my prison sentence. I get out of the uh, in-school expulsion. And... Then that's when I am called relentlessly sex tape coding. It is, it still follows me to this day 
Like I know one person who, if I ever show my face back up in town, and he works at Walmart still, uh, I know for a fact he's gonna call me sex tape and ask me when am I gonna release another sex tape, because he's been doing it since high school. <laughs> now, fast forward a little bit. Three years ago, Dallas. This is how karma. This is why I believe in karma so much. Dallas has a kid, married, and his wife's pregnant. Apparently, him and his wife get into this super big argument. And he kills her. And her unborn child. Now, Louisiana plays about a lot. They do not play about fetus death. Currently, as I'm recording this, he hasn't been sentenced. But it is heavily suspected that he is going to get the death penalty. Yeah. So that is the story of how I got the coolest nickname of Sex Tape Coach.